Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee for 107.5 WPLS, and you are watching Open. Thanks for hanging out with us. Our next guest is a holistic healer and a practitioner. She does well. She's all over the place. She's in a lot of publications, too. She has a PhD. She's a teacher and a public speaker. She joins us to speak about the ways people can find their approach to self-care, healing, and achieving holistic health in the wake of this new variant. It's out there, but she's right here. And we welcome her, Dr. Maria Lemato. Welcome, Doc. Thank you very, very much. Well, Doc. this go, go this ahead, Doc. Variant has uh, all of us going crazy, and yeah. you know our vagus nerve. It's going boom, you know, and stress, and everybody's like, "When is this going to end?" Yeah. I'm tired, so. I'm here to help you a little bit to relieve so this. Yeah, what are some of the things that we can do? Because I, I know for sure that people are gonna be suffering. They're gonna be stressed out because people call me every day with different situations. Uh, how do we handle this stress and all this well, post -trials? Yes, one of the things that everybody has to recognize at certain level is if you, had, if you have COVID, post-stress syndrome, which is grief, stress, yeah. uncertainty, not being able to move forward and not being able to see the future. So all of those are a formula for disaster because we're gonna see a lot of people coming up with deep depressions. What, but the most important thing is to take care of yourself first and yeah. opening up a window to see that there is help outside. Not everybody, unfortunately, for whatever reason, have the ability to get mental health immediately. The first thing that we're going to do is put your hands over your heart, crossing your hands, and you can take three deep breaths And notice what you notice right after it. Are you still having anxiety? Are you still having a rushing heart? If that's the case, repeat it again. And yeah. you can do this either in the morning, the moment you wake up, this is great. The yeah. moment you're going to sleep, it's great to relax you. And Doc, try to blend into the chair or the couch that you're sitting in. Yes. And just bump it down, relax, let it all drop, let it all go. Because this thing is real. Uh, the traumatic syndrome is very real. And people think, ah, this stuff is not real. COVID-19 is not real. This is just something, they're just popping it up on the news so they can you know, create a sensation, sensationalized program. No, this is very real. And Doc, you know that. Yeah. One of the things that I would tell everybody is try not to look at the news or the newspaper every day. Because of course, we being the, in this situation, it's gonna be two years, so it's mm -hmm. real. But the most yeah. important thing is that you have to move forward it and start taking care of yourself in different ways. Good, good food and especially good emotional first aid care. Yeah. Some other exercise that I have, which it's very natural and intuitive and we don't do it. It's embrace ourselves and sing that song that when you were a kid, you can go row, row, row your boat. Down, down, the, down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. One particular thing that happens with this song 
is that you have the sensation of, or the feeling that something is being lifted off out of your body. Uh, yeah. So that's another thing that you could do. And that's the stress. And that is your vagus nerve telling you it's time to relax. Yeah. Right? And doc, you have a lot of training in this. Give us a little yeah. background. You have to do this at the beginning. Give, give us a little background of what you've been through to acquire a lot of this, uh, this training. Well, originally I was a geneticist and I went to medical school, but I decided to become a researcher. Uh -huh. But then after several years, I noticed research wasn't enough for me because I couldn't get to the seat thought of whatever the problems I was studying. Yeah. So finally, I became and I studied energy psychology and many holistic modalities. And that's when I went, aha, there is a biofield like everything. That's what I tell yeah. everybody. When you go to geography classes and they tell you, okay, the planet Earth has atmosphere, stratosphere, all those layers. Guess what? Our body has it too. Yeah. So what's happening out there is happening in here. Exactly. So if one and, of those... And what's happening up there and happening in here is happening microscopically. Absolutely. And every cell also have all of those layers. So if one of those layers is not working, and we have a big example in the planet Earth, like the ozone layer is not yeah. working. So things happen to the planet. So same thing happens to us. So when we take care of those emotional, mental, energetic layers, we have more wellness, we feel better, and we start working from our heart and everything works out. That's yeah. actually the secret of the secret. The secret of the secret. I like it. Yeah. That, yeah. You know, Doc, that, that's a book right there. The secret of the secret. Yeah. I, I won't tell anybody yeah. else. Just, okay. just you, not. You, you can do it. I'll, I'll, I'll back you with it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. But we also, we always forget, and this is what I, the crisis that we have right now, is yeah. all of us forgot to take care of ourselves first. Because the, vir the virus is real, but it would have been a different story if all of us were healthy in different ways, because it probably would have been a virus that, yeah, it came, did some damage, but all of us recuperated like that. Like that. What are some of the other things that we can do to, uh keep ourselves healthy, not only physically, but mentally. Mentally, I have a great exercise and it's integrating both hemispheres, especially if you're in a computer and you're and, seated like us. And when you speak of hemispheres, it means the left and right side of the brain. Is yes. that correct? Correct. Left and, uh, left and right of the, the yes. brain. Um, a lot of us, and you can notice that when you see somebody walking and it's wobbling, you can go, mm, mm. it's not integrated. Yeah. Or when somebody stumbles into words, you go, mm, not integrated. Or when somebody it's- Hey, that happens to me from time to time. Yes, <laughs> but that's, that's what I call emotional and energetic hygiene. Yeah. You have to do these exercises every morning. And one of those is, let me move a little bit backwards. It's <laughs> like that, okay? And touching one of your knees and singing at the same time, looking to a fixed point. Okay? I love you, you love me. Exactly. We get you, to get you, you see, we could do it seated down or standing up. So it's really easy. I oh, do that. Doc, you don't want me to do that right about now. Okay. <laughs> the other wonderful thing that you could do is find those stickers that are circles. Yeah. And you need a red one and a green one. And you're gonna put it side by side. Well, the red one is gonna be on your right side 
yeah. of the camera in your computer. And then the green one, it's gonna be on the left side of your computer. Okay. What it does, your brain, it's trying to integrate both hemispheres and it's trying to look brown, the color brown. Yeah. So if you are all the time in front of your computer, camera on or not, if you have those dots in there, it is wonderful. It is making your brain work more relaxed. Wow. Integrated all the time. Ah, oh, sucks. Easier. easier. I got to try that, Doc. Yeah. I got to try now, is Absolutely. all of this on your website? Can we find all of this on your website? No. You can just listen to me. <laughs> come into my book, The Secret of the Secret. Yeah, there you go. You held up a pamphlet a little while ago. Let me see that pamphlet. Yes. This pamphlet is, I belong to the ASEP. It's Association for Comprehensive Energy Psychology. Yeah. In are an association that is trying to bring science and spirituality together. So I like we it. Yeah. Sure that whatever we're doing, it's published by peer review journals. And we have a lot of support for people to go into this website. And we have R4R support is the website of the resources. And I'm gonna give it to you so you can share it with everybody who's, who's watching. And here we have basic exercises that you could do every morning or in the afternoon, or when you feel that your world is crumbling down. I to love it. Protect Doc, yourself. Doc, wait, we have to continue to protect ourselves. Doc, where can we find more information on this? Do you have a website we can go to? I have my, web, my website, it's marialamarda.com. Maria and, Lamar. Um, yes. And you can follow me on Instagram, Maria Limardo, PhD. Thank you. Maria, we love you. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing and come back again, okay? Thank you, Dr. Lee. You want to it take us out? Singing? Yes. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're one big happy family with a hip hop. <laughs> Fatty whack. Give the dog a bone. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that is so simple that people can do everything. Well, we appreciate you and we love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll take a break. We've got more. More love coming up next on Open.